Hello there, I am Gepwin, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Mode. We are over here at Finch Farm! I should build up there. You can build up on top of that thing, like the... You can get a ladder yeah. going. Yes. And go like, whoop, all the way up to the um, overpass there. If you look at the settlement boundary, it like takes in both sides of this overpass. Unfortunately, it doesn't hit that. It'd be cool if you could build like a ramp going up that side. But I guess that's too steep anyway. But yeah, building something up there would be cool. But today, we, I, I just want to finish up getting on the holotapes for Nick Valentine. And I still want to try to do the one or two quests we need to do for Preston. Because we, we still need to do like the castle. Is that the castle? No, that's Fort Strunk. Fort Strunk. The castle? The castle there, yeah. We need to do the castle for Preston. Um, I'd, I'd want to get his affinity up. I forgot Preston is one of the best companion perks in the game. But we're pretty close to this, whatever this is. Eh, I can't, I can't select it. Malden Center, whatever that is. So we need to go straight over there and then straight down to this police station next to Robco. I can't move that. This is not moving well. East Boston Police. All right. Firstly, let's just let's just go this way. Get my gun. Got my guns ready. Off we go across the wasteland. Such amazing cut land. We're walking, and we're walking, and we're walking some more. My my blow by blow color commentary. It's amazing. Wow. I was. I was in, like, a better mood for this ten seconds ago. I was like, ah, go record things, let's go go do it, ra da da and then I think no the... the no, there is no point in leaving that for the scavengers, Preston, you're right. You're very right. I think what happened is, like, my recording software was doing that thing again. I only had to troubleshoot it once this time. I'm not exactly sure what happened. I had to, like, update, update the PlayStation, and then I had to troubleshoot my frickin' software again, and that always... I just want software that works so I can just go like, I feel like recording, let's do this, instead of, I feel like recording, let's run a 10 minute test recording of nothing to make sure that this recorder is not going to freeze three minutes in. Hooray! Hey. That's a dog. I heard a hey. Where'd you get to? Oh, there's another dog. Oops. Sorry. Sorry, dog. Oh, that's too many dogs. Too many dogs. Stop that. Come on. Okay, that one's down. That one's down. This many dogs implies that there's a dog owner somewhere. Dog trainer. Yep, raider. Just a raider. Well, that was pretty easy. Got to admit that. Yeah, really got to admit that. I don't know what I've been thinking of today. There's like been all this stupid... Seriously, caring too much already. Did I not drop anything at... Um... Yeah, I guess I didn't get rid of like... Anything here. Okay, well I've got... Oh yeah, I've got these weapons that I've been picking up just for ammo. I can get rid of those. And then I've got to sell some of these stupid legendary things. Oh, there we go. I've got a few weapons that I've been picking up for no other reason than to get ammo out of them. So I can drop all of those. Look at that. Someone, someone will just come across here and find a nice pile of junk. I kind of hope that's how it works in the, in the Fallout 76 games. Like, you can drop just a big pile of stuff, unload your inventory. Like, I don't need any of this weight. And then somebody else just randomly comes across like, oh my god, there's 15 guns here. Alright, I need to not have... I swear that I cleared this place already. That was fun. Aw. Yeah, I swear I cleared this. Didn't I? We were here for a quest. Wasn't this where... Oh, hi. Wasn't this where McCready was? This was McCready's quest. Uh, I hate you. I hate you. Ow. I actually am running low on shotgun ammo. That's not amazing. I do not love that. No, not not even a little. I'm pretty sure this is where we came from McCready's quest line. Honestly. 
This looks very familiar on that side of things. Everything looks a little faded out. I think there's like a mist, misty fog. Misty fog. This happens. Ambush. Whoa, Ambush. hi. Um, Defensive protocols engaged. Do they mean that they're ambushing me? Do they think I'm ambushing them? I don't know. There we go. Oop, I high. Rust Devil, I'm gonna hide behind this car, and then I'm gonna shoot you in your face, and then this car is gonna try to explode. That's right, run towards the car. Run towards the car. Aw, oh, it didn't. Where's that attack dog? And... There we go. Okay! I feel like I am a higher level than most of the game is prepared for. Oh, rads. I can heal up next to this flaming car. Oh, it's gone. I was excited for rads. Preston idolizes me. Can I talk to you now? Hey. What do you need? Oh, um, first I need to take out those. <clears throat> Preston, stop. Stop with the trying to be pressed. Stop with the trying to Preston something. I don't like this. Um critical it and please just kill it thank you Ooh. and that's down and then there's a swarm bot okay Preston's got that we are almost leveled up again hey talk you have a minute I uh well I wanted to talk about oh something. he's so awkward yeah go ahead I've been thinking back lately on how things were for me when we first met it was the lowest point of my life I mean, all my closest friends were dead. Everything I believed in had turned out to be a lie. I'd failed everyone who ever relied on me. I'd led them to Concord, and we had no hope of getting out alive. The thing is, that was actually okay with me. I was ready to die. It was what I felt I deserved. It was what I wanted. You did your best, Preston. You can't blame yourself for what happened. I knew it wasn't all on me, but I made my share of bad decisions along the way. I've got to live with that. My point in all of this is that, well, you saved my life. And not just by saving us from those raiders in Concord. I mean that you made me want to keep living again. I guess that sounds pretty sappy, but it's true. If we hadn't met, or if you'd kill those raiders and then just take it off? I don't know if I'd still be around. I think I would have found some way to, you know, end it. Maybe not by shooting myself in the head or anything, but just by not caring about staying alive. So I just wanted you to know that. How much our friendship has meant to me. I do not want to romance him, but fine. I'm glad you decided to stick around, Preston. The world needs more people like you. Well, now you're making me embarrassed. I hope I didn't make you too uncomfortable telling you all that. I just felt like it needed to be said, you know? I guess we should get back to it, huh? Yes! United we stand, Perk. Very, very nice. Now that is really good because... Because... Perks, United we stand. These things are alphabetized right at the bottom. My relationship with Preston deal 20% more damage and gain 20% resistance when facing three or more opponents. Whoops. And it's very unlikely that you, you know, aren't facing three or more opponents. This is the Slocum Joes. Doesn't look like there's much in here. That, Hello. Hello. It would I think I got something over here. Has failed. That's over. Well, I'm glad my attempt at stealth has failed. Or, I don't know. I'm glad that it lets me shoot you in the face, Synth. Stupid robo-Synth. Do-do-do-do-do. Provisioner. Oh, that's one of mine. Your destruction is inevitable. I leveled up. Level 84. Oh, hi. Sorry. Should have just run. <laughs> oh, I'm glad he's invincible. Cool. Cool provisioners don't look at explosives. Explosions. <laughs> Should just run. <laughs> oh, there's some super mutants to take out. That enforcer's down. I think there might be a suicider over there. Yep, here he comes. Let's get this over with. Oh, come on. 
Take out his leg. Take out his leg. Take out the suicider. Just my good karma's paying off. Another this guy just loves explosions. Guess my good karma's paying off. You should have run, kaboom. <laughs> oh yeah, two shot. Two shot ten. That's not actually bad. I mean it's not great, it's not bad. See the thing with two shot as as opposed to something like instigating, which is why instigating it can be is better for like a first strike. Oh, it is a police station. Okay. Is uh, two shot shoots an additional projectile. So you're shooting two bullets. Stop stop it, car. You're shooting two bullets, but the second bullet doesn't gain any additional uh, bonuses. So, for example, if I had my my um, Gauss rifle, if my Gauss rifle was two shot, the first shot would gain all the additional stuff. It would gain the you know the sneak attack critical, the bonus damage, the fifteen percent extra from whatever the heck the the you know Mr. Sandman thing, all of that stuff would be gotten by the first shot. The second bullet would be base damage, which would still be like plus 400 damage on a Gauss rifle, but it's not as good as just straight up doubling all damage, including all of the stuff, because the instigating calculates all the damage first and then doubles it. Anyway, let's read this computer first, then we'll listen to the holotape. I'll take those bottle caps. All right, anyone our holotape logs? I think we got armed robbery logs. One shotgun in evidence locker. Surveillance video recorded from Slocum Joe's Donut Shop. Bone, that's Boone and Christine. Statements from witnesses. Counterfeiting logs. Fraudulent money orders, money orders. Okay, there's nothing that interesting here. Let's just uh, read the, yeah, oh, thank you, quest marker. I never would have known that. Message to Robert Cooper. You did good, Bobby. The wife and girl won't be saying anything. <laughs> no worries. Hell, once those fat life insurance checks start rolling in, <laughs> Mrs. Montrano will wish her fat slob of a husband had eaten that bullet five years ago. As for what happens next, up to you. Beach, sub shop, car yard, doesn't matter where he ends up, I don't give a shit. I just want him in the ground. So... As long as Johnny Sr. never finds out what happened to his little meatball, we're set. Eddie Winter, signing off. Alright, Johnny Montrano. We heard that name before, but it's been a few episodes, so I don't remember. All these holotapes. I hear something. Yep, okay, there's Super Mutants back again, huh? Come on, come on, hold still, hold still. <laughs> On me again. No more ear then. There you go. 2.2 times damage right now. That's a weird, weird, awkward number. You know, I didn't level up. Thinking about it. <laughs> uh, darn. Uh, more fortune finder. The bloody mess thing. So, I, I don't know how often this... I don't know how often this goes or what decides when it goes. They, they, do we need more? This just makes enemies explode around us when we, when they explode. This is just base 15% more damage. This is if enemies explode, everyone might explode, which is kind of neat, but I don't know how often that actually triggers as opposed to like just getting our sneak attack up to 30 and then 50% more damage. Or we could start taking ninja, which actually gets our sneak attack criticals up more, so let's do that first. So we've got the rank of ninja, and that ups our... Ow! What? What? What is going on? I don't like this. What happened? Is there a, there's a turret behind this car? Yeah, okay. There we go. Ugh. So yeah, this has, um upped my sneak attack damage with this gun completely. Let's just take some rads to get the stuff going. Oh, yeah, I, I think we just didn't clear the outskirts of this town. That's fine, I guess. 
I guess. Did you have a... Nope, you're not a lootable corpse. And that's just decorative. Anyway, I'm going to... Ah, uh, come on. Oh. Whoops. I... I didn't clear this town. Uh, darn. Hi. Dead. Dead. Darn it. Um, I mean, we did clear this town, but now it's not cleared. Which I don't like. Ugh. Stuff is supposed to take longer to respawn in... Stuff's supposed to take longer than to respawn. That, that was just a scale, or was it? I don't know. I hear a beep beep. So is the boss guy back? Because there was a pretty bad... There was like a boss dude with a missile launcher in this house that killed me a few times. Hammer. You have to come out or later. No, I don't. Super mutant. Don't have to come out sooner or later. <laughs> oh, that noise. Oh, that noise. Keep your head down. There's one down there. Ooh, that exploded. Dog. Brute. Ow. Come on. Ugh. I'm almost out of ammo here. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Dang, Warlord. Give me that bottle cap. Alright, fine. We'll just use our big gun. I don't want to use up all my ammo on this fight. Uh, I thought this town was clear. And I was like, hey, I know. I'll go through here. This will be fine. Ooh, nice. 2.7 times damage now. That's not exactly what I was hoping for, but fine. Do you see him? This is also more than three enemies. <laughs> So that perk we just got from Preston that gives us additional damage and defense is in effect. Which is nice. And all of our new armor. Like, look at how little damage we are actually taking here. Aw, oh, missed. This should hit, though. There we go. Got you in the face. Where are the other bad guys? Like, I was hoping to save in here, not die. Uh, glowing hound. Is that it? There we go. Okay, we have achieved greatness. And glory. And all those other things. But, yeah. Shredding minigun. That guy was standing too close to a wall, though. He couldn't actually shoot me. Which was pretty fun. No fighting. Where's this? Okay, just give me this bowling ball. So I think my problem was you, you hold down the button and then let it go for throwing. Okay, I guess not. Uh, how do I throw? <laughs> this rotates. No, um... There we go, you hold down square, or whatever the equivalent to square is on an Xbox. And, yeah! Wow, that's very bouncy. It's very, very bouncy. I'm done with this. I, I, I reject your super bouncy bowling ball. Just give me all these caps and whatnot. Caps and whatnot. What was I thinking about? I came in here to save because I thought there were beds. There may very well be beds. This was that incidental storytelling that was so cool. Well, sort of cool. I don't know. It fit into a different story in general anyway. I thought there were beds in here. There's that bunker. I don't want to go through a loading zone for beds, though. Like, this guy had a bunker. Okay, there's the beds. Yep, I just, I just want to... Oh, come on. And... Bed! There we are. That guy was hiding under the bed. That's... 
That's sad. Lack of food, lack of water. I just picked up more water, though, actually. So, what do I have? I've got cooked soft shell meat. Properly fed, and then I just picked up a couple more purified waters, so we may as well. There we go, and we're saved, and now we should still be just heading... That, okay, that way, towards that marker. It was south, now it's southeast. Off we go! Off we go. I was thinking about all the lore stuff, that's right. Then talking about the weirdness of, like... I don't know how much anybody's been following these stories with the 76 release, which... Beta starts next week when this comes out. Shush. Not for me. Not for me, because I'm not playing on an Xbox. God Almighty's Xbox device. Low betide those who buy a PlayStation used from eBay. <laughs> I didn't buy a PlayStation like until Fallout 4 came out, because th th there was just not a lot I was interested in. I wasn't doing a lot of console stuff at the time. I was playing some random indie games. Whoa. More... Uh, Rust Devil, yeah. Seriously? I shot you. Alright, fine. You know what? You take a grenade. Mr. Handy Destroyer, you die. How'd that do? Oh, okay, this is why there's enemies here. This is that this is that little house next to the bridge. <laughs> uh, on the way to uh Concord. Or Cambridge? Yeah, on the way to Cambridge. The uh, trading post. What, what am I thinking? Bunker Hill. It's on the way to the Bunker Hill trading post. This little bridge always has bad guys in this house. It's one of the random spawn locations. You just have assault rifle. Yeah, that's not very interesting. Anyway, they're dead now. That's, that's kind of the takeaway from that. And this police station is... Over there. Other bridge. Take that bridge across. On the other side of the Poseidon thing here. This place has a lot of radiations, which suits me just fine, because that heals me. Radiation is no longer scary. Haha. -ha. People complain about how, like, you can make radiation not scary in these games. I don't know why. So anyway. Uh, the Fallout 76 stuff that I was going to complain about. They found that the Brotherhood of Steel is in Fallout 76. Oh my god. It breaks everything. The lore has been ruined. They don't have any respect for the franchise. How dare they make a game with characters in it that I don't think should be there. Outrage. Etc. Like, what is the... Why? It's so... People are so angry. Oh, we were just here a f couple of episodes ago. That's not fair. People are so angry that they think it, the lore doesn't make sense. Which, like... One, the game company can write their own, so who who gives a flying, flying anything? And also, like, why... Why do you care so much? All right, where is this? Uh, Officer Granny, Boston TD. Where, though? It didn't say where. <laughs> that guy's desk. Checked out by Officer Graham, who is here. Eddie Winter's Holotape 6. Let's listen to that. And then we need to head over to... to Nick to finally finish this up. Message to Charlotte Wen. My dear Miss Wen. I hope you're well. After our little joint venture this past May, you should be. If memory serves correctly, that pallet of buff out will you a small fortune, and won't leave eight years in the state correctional facility. So I got to thinking, why not do it again? We both love the same things. Money, and destroying people who get in our way. Together we'll outmaneuver them all. Boston will be ours for the taking. Let them play checkers. We'll play chess. Eddie Winter, signing off. Alright, he was working with a Chinese crime boss, I think. I think we find out about her some other time. Ugh, weird 
glitches with the water there. I don't like that. All right, I'm pretty sure that Nick is... Where is Nick? Tell me that I sent him to... Yes, okay, good. He is at Hangman's Alley. It's exactly where I wanted him to be. That works out well. Is there a swarm bot there? I don't like that very much, that there's random swarm bots I don't know where it came from. Must have killed them earlier. So anyway, I keep interrupting myself. I, I got to thinking about this with how ticked off people get about the lore in games and things. Because there was even some people going along, it's like if they said that, that Fallout 76 wasn't canonical, which is such a ridiculous term in itself. Like, just the idea that you have to have such a long-winded, super-connected, thought-out story. Like, the, the story in these games started in Fallout 3, like, what, 20 years ago? The, yeah, I don't, started in Fallout 1, I mean. It was a long time ago, written by completely different people. And I think that is what's taking off some people. But, but even then, like, I don't know. Not all the stuff carries over from, like, from, like, the original Fallout to the, like, Obsidian Fallout that they did later, the Fallout 76. Like, not all the stuff completely carries over one-to-one -to, -one to that anyway. Like, I don't... What? Okay. I don't... He just exploded. Fine with me. He just randomly explodes. Oh, hi. Are you done? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, the fact that you feel like the games have to hold together in that kind of way is weird. I think to me. I understand it on a certain level. I understand looking at it and being like, oh, look, this connected to this. It's kind of fun. But it's to me, it's more like a cameo. It's like you get a sequel to a movie and, like, a character shows up from the first one and doesn't really have a lot to do, but is there because, like, oh, yeah, I remember that guy. He was in the first movie. That's fun. That's just neat. I liked that character. I wanted to see him again. That's kind of like how I feel like in Nuka World they brought back a character that I really liked from Fallout 3. Aha. And I, I really liked that. That was fun that she was in that DLC. I don't want to ruin it for people that haven't maybe seen it, but... Boom! No more head for Something's you. You don't deserve it, Raider. I just thought it was fun that they brought her back. It was this weird little thing. It doesn't matter if she couldn't have walked from Boston to wherever that is in that amount of time. I mean, she can. Like, that's not a problem anyone's complaining about. But let's say that it took place, let's say this game took place three days after the events of Fallout 3. And it's like, how on earth could she have walked that far in three days? Oh my god, it doesn't ma I don't care. Like, each game is its own thing. It has its own story. It makes references to the other stories, but it's not like, it's not continuing the story. It's its own story. And if you look at, if you look at what the story tells you. You should look at it with those stories, not all this, like, incidental junk. Like, why are you caring so much about, like, this character said this thing in this game, but then said this little thing in this other game, and oh my god, all this lore-breaking stuff. Ah! Like, just look at the story, look at what the story is trying to say about things. Like, stories are metaphors and, and like, say things about our world as art, like, you can't, if you're just focusing so much on random pedantic junk. Last time we talked, I hope I could stop it. Is death by dumping my life story on you. I guess. I'm sorry, things worked out this way, Nick. Thanks. I'm glad you care that much, at least. It's just, it hurts more this time around. This was close to home. Uh, let's just hit the road, all right? I don't think I can talk about this anymore. His brother's dead and he doesn't like that. Alright, Nick? Hey, Valentine. Time to hit the road again? Get back to the hunt for Eddie Winter? Yes. Are you interested in traveling together? Would be nice, the two of us getting out there again. Let's head out. Well, alright. I know I'm leaving her in good hands, Nick. Be careful out there. I'll keep out of trouble if she does. 
Eh, all right, let's send Preston to Hangman's Alley, because I like that everyone now, yells at me. Now, have you got something for me? A pocket full of tapes belonging to an old ghoul, perhaps? That I do. Finally got them all. Here. No fooling. Wow. That's some real solid detective work. Uh, they're older than dirt, but they've got Eddie's paw prints all over them. These are the real deal. And they've still got the code pieces in them. Let me run them through the old processor. Got it. One, nine, five, three, seven, two, eight, four, zero, six. That old thug's holed up in Andrew's station. Now, let's go bring down Eddie Winter. Wonderful. Where is Andrew's station? Andrew's station, I found it. Okay, it's over here. I was just there. Right by the South Boston Police Department. Oh, well, we'll do that, and then we can go over to the castle and maybe do old guns. At you least. Have no idea. What it's Off we go. Like. Oh. Scrounging around for two centuries um, with this ugly. Yeah, are you still. Last time we talked, I hope I did. Are you still running the store? Because. I need you to still be running the store. Drops coming in pretty good. Everyone's loud. Do you need something, madame? I want to trade a few things. No, I want to buy. I want to use the things are looking up. I can feel Ugh, this. I want to use your store. There you go. Yes, put your hands on the counter. That means you're I the just store need to now. I trade gear with you. Nope, you're the Look at oh, you. Oh, you're the store now. I'm going to sleep. I hate this. And your skins. I hate as this. Smooth as a Shut baby. up. I hate this. We're going to sleep, and then I'm going to use the store. Hey, when you were in Dima's memories, did you find anything? Any proof about what really oh, happened between us? Oh, now he us? wants to talk more? Fine. Take a listen to this holotape, Nick. It's from the data we pulled off of Dima's memory banks. All right. Let me run this real quick. God. Dima really did help me escape the Institute? I wasn't just tossed out with the garbage. I must have still been in a haze from one of the Institute's experiments on me. Did I really attack him? Did he really knock the daylights out of me and leave me for dead? Damn it. Why can't I remember? Take it easy, Valentine. People forget things. Especially after something traumatic like what happened between you and Dima. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. Well, I wanted proof Dima and I had history, and I got it. Now I just gotta figure out what to do. Should I give him a chance? Try to accept him as my brother? He might just be the only other prototype synth that exists. Um... Um, he's dead. Fine, give him a chance, but he's kind of a corpse. I think you'd regret it if you didn't try to get to know him better. You're right. Maybe next time we swing by Acadia, I'll try to be a little nicer to the old synth. Try to make up for lost time. Thanks, by the way. I wouldn't know the truth without you. Okay, that was... Hey, what Oh, Piper and everyone loved that. You're gonna be the... Valentine loved that. Everyone's in love with me. Look at you. Yep, you. Two centuries, and your skin's as smooth as a baby. I hate you. What have you got done, to trade today? I'll be there to help. Thank you. Trade menu. Finally. Oh my god. Ugh. I just want to sell some of this junk that I've been carrying around. Like this relentless revolver. And this two-shot pipe pistol. And this two-shot pistol. Do you have ammo? Does this guy carry ammo? Oh, good. Shotgun shells. I need several of those. Let's grab... I said, ah, uh, it jumps at the most inconvenient times. Let's just grab 100 shotgun shells. All right, I'm still getting like 30-something out of that. Where's... Uh, weapons, weapons, weapons. Ugh, I thought I had another... Let's see. I've got the... this thing. Which is more than he wants to give me, so let's see if I can get... Just a shipment of something to... You know, use here. Yeah, let's just grab a cheap shipment of concrete and then take his, all of his caps. We're losing our nighttime cover. There we go. Keep those. Crop's been growing pretty Hopefully good. we'll be able to run Last by the slog we'll soon. 
So, all right, let's just leave. Everyone wants to talk to me when I'm in here, and it is annoying. What, like, no companions in Fallout 76? Thank you. Sounds good. I'll be able to go to my camp without a million people trying to yell at me all the, all the frickin' time. That'll be awesome. That will be awesome. Ugh, I hate it. Like, I like them. I like the character building in this game. It's pretty good. There's some characters I don't like. I'm looking at you, McCready. Yeah, selfish. Selfish McCready. I, I, I don't know. I like that the characters like and dislike different things. But they made some of them, like, cartoonishly weird and evil. To, like... What hurt me? They made some of the characters, like, almost cartoonishly evil. It's like, McCready likes it when you exploit a small child for extra toys. That's that's what pushed me over his limit for, like, liking me. It was insane. I can't believe that that's what, that's what the thing was. It's like, oh, good, yeah, exploit this small child to find her cat. They're like, no, I'm not going to find your cat unless you give me your teddy bear. Because I'm a Captain Planet villain. C come on, really? Ugh. Anyway, I don't know. So what do you all think of this lore stuff? I'm kind of curious, because... I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how many people have been following. I know not everyone who's watching this is, like, the Fallout fan. You just, like, are watching me play the thing. But, like, this whole lore, like... I don't know, everything having to be somehow, like, true to whatever, and that has... They've betrayed the game. Whoa, they betrayed it. They don't care. Proof Bethesda doesn't care. It was wrong for them to buy the game and, like, make more of it. Like, fine, play the first two. <laughs> If you don't like that they did that to the game, like, play the first two games. It doesn't matter. It's not a cinematic universe. I don't think that anybody didn't play Fallout 3 all the way through. Ah! Ow! Die. Oof. This thing's pretty strong. It has no body. I broke off its entire body and it was still flying at me. Stupid thing. But I don't think, if you, if you didn't play Fallout 3, I don't think you would be lost playing Fallout 4, you know? If you didn't like what they did in Fallout 3 and still wanted to play this, you could. If you don't like what they did with the other games, like, if you, if you think Bethesda should never have made a Fallout game and it's a betrayal of what made the franchise good in 1 and 2, go play 1 and 2. No one is stopping you. Yeah, it's a little disappointing that you aren't getting more of your games, but, f but so what? Go go play those. Go play Wasteland. Go leave me alone. Just leave me alone. I'm, I'm tired of listening to, like, macho gamer dumb stuff. I am the true... I am the true gamer, and I am the true one who loves this game, and all others are frauds. Oh my god! It's so... It's just annoying. It's just annoying. Oh, wait, this is the place I need to go. We cleared out this place of raiders a minute ago. Interesting. Okay, down downstairs we go. I think Valentine is still with us somewhere. Yeah, right? We, we should be traveling with Valentine. Let's not keep Eddie waiting. Nah. Let's not keep Eddie waiting. Are you going to say it again? Huh? Rule of threes. Nope, okay. Who? Raider. I heard a raider. This is pretty close quarters. I'm gonna sh switch over to my shotgun. Get some What's that? No. Yes, we're not alone. There we go. Exploding gun is like not the best here. People have commented on this, but it was really funny to me how how much all the people playing the Fallout 76 early footage, every single one of them was like, I haven't played with a controller since I was three baby toys. And then they couldn't, like, move and shoot at the same time. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, I get it. It's the control no schemes that you're used to, if you're not used to a controller. But they just complained about it so much. Their whole, like, oh, playing with the mouse and keyboard is so much always better. And then, like, yeah, you get finer control, but then they just, like couldn't move at all. It was just, I don't know. I got to feel superior to someone for a little bit. That was kind of funny. I 
Oh, crud. Legendary Raider. Hi. Oh. Dead. And you're far enough away I can just blow you up. Excellent! Haha! What else we got? This place is full of bad guys. Ooh, and ammunition. And a Vault Tech lunchbox. <gasps> Yay! Robot model. I like that. But Nick, what did what? <laughs> wow. I know Nick is angry, but full on the, grabbing a full on assault rifle. <laughs> That's kind of funny. There we go. Someone's coming. Wow, what are you... Nick? Um... Ow. Sheesh, that stunk. Also, Nick ran forward into a lot of traps, and I... Yeah. Why did he do that? Now, let's see. Where's some baddies? Disappearing act, huh? Hey, I thought I saw something. Yeah, disappearing act so that I can shoot you head. Oh. Hi. Oh, crud. No! Seriously? Dang it. And we are back more or less where we were. <laughs> Pretty much the same. Huh. Sprinting and running, I guess. Stop it. Pretty much the same as before, except that I, when I respawned, I went to drop off all of my stuff in a chest, which I still didn't What's do. That? Stop it, Nick. Stop running into stuff. Jeez. Come on. Really? There we go. Nick, I hate you, and stop doing that. Ugh. Went to drop all my stuff in a chest. I still didn't drop all my stuff in a chest. I just, just dropped a lot of ammo and stuff. But I accidentally hit the grab everything button. Which is the worst button ever. That's what I meant to do last time. And I had to reload. I had to reload because I like, was trying to put stuff back in the chest. And then my hat disappeared. Come on. No more head. Bingo. Targets bleed for 25 points extra damage. Another Western Revolver. The game heard me say that I would like a nice Western Revolver. I think. I need to see what, uh, what I need to upgrade those. The bleeding, I don't think so. Bleeding works on like shotguns and rapid fire weapons because the bleeding stacks so well, but... I don't know, no. Western Revolver. I don't know what the best thing for that would be. Instigating, maybe a two-shot. A two-shot Western Revolver would probably be pretty good. I would imagine. Overall, I don't know what the best mod for a Western Revolver would be. Because it's not really a sniping weapon, so instigating wouldn't be as good. Because instigating only works with your first shot when your enemy is at full health. Like, so it's really good for sniping. Not as good for other stuff. I guess two shots kind of the next best. Even though your two shot weapons don't. No, I did save this time, so I saved one of the beds earlier. Even though your two shot weapons don't stack as much damage as instigating, it might still be the best for like a Western revolver or something. So you're gonna be shooting a decent amount. A lot of the other mods, a lot of the other legendary effects are kind of really skewed to. There's a boxing ring down here with betting are really skewed to um come on uh rapid fire weapons they seem to work a lot better with rapid fire weapons than things like i like to use uh where oh where are we going this is a weird merry chase we're on here okay you know what actually if he's right around the corner he's not He's... I found him! Oh, that's a grenade. Fine. Give me that. And give me that. Blow that up. 
blow that guy up. Don't you die on me! Back up. Blow up that guy. Blow up that guy. Alright, that one's dead. That's a named character, so hide a little bit. Now we can just kill you. Cancer. Oh, Chancer. Chancer, not Cancer. Well, Chancer, Cancer. Or are you can I don't know. You're dead. Whatever your name was, you're dead now. What'd you have? Nothing good. Named characters should always have something good. It's not fair that they don't so often. What's over here? A button hidden behind a bookcase that's too big to actually fit in front of the button very well. And a chem station. And liquor bottles. So moon shining place? I guess that makes sense with this bar. There's like a distillery. Eh. And this is the exit. I don't want to exit yet. I guess that's the key, though. That lets me through there. I don't want to leave yet, though. Where was the stupid bunker? Where am I supposed to go? So that was the basement. That was the basement of Slocum Joe's. So I guess that was Eddie Winter's old, like, lodge. Old, old place of business. Through here? Ah, here we go. Keypad. One nine five three seven two eight four zero six. And open. The fuck? Wait, oh, no. there's Nick. You ain't walking away from this. The, what? I big mistake. You're playing high Seriously? Mistake? I tried to leave to get Nick so he could do the dialogue, and he just turned hostile. Ah. Oh, interesting. No, you ain't walking away from this, and then turns ah. hostile. Shit. Huh. Yeah, I'll let Nick finish him off. Maybe not. There we go. Got you. Okay. Interesting. That's weird. Usually you get some dialogue options. I'm done here. There's one more thing I've got to do. I, I wouldn't mind the company if you wanted to tag along. All right. Follow Nick. I don't think there's anything like in here. Let's just save, so we don't have to do that again. Oh, there's a bowler hat. I want it. I want it! Thank you! Oh, here's a to Claire. Claire, it's me, Eddie. It's been too long, I know. But I'm okay. We're okay. I know it's weird, me disappearing just when the heat died down. But there's a reason. What we talked about, it's happening soon. Bombs. Missiles, huh. I don't know what, but the end is coming. I can't even tell you how much I paid my cloak and dagger friend for this info. So I guess me building that shelter was a smart idea after all, huh? But look, baby, there is uh, one more thing. The reason I haven't been around for a while. You know those idiot brothers at Wicked Shipping? The ones smuggling the radioactive material? I put the screws to them. Got some of the stuff. I've been working with this doctor in East Boston. Guy's a fucking genius. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but he had this theory. The right kind of radiation exposure at the right amounts, it can change human cells, mutate them. Baby, I can live forever. Yeah, I know, it could kill me. I'm willing to chance it, but I can't risk losing you. So I'm the guinea pig, and I've been getting treatments. But don't worry, I'm fine. More than fine. I feel great. Amazing, even. I think this crazy shit's really working. Eventually, this war will blow over. And when it does, I'm gonna walk out onto Boston and pick up where I left off. I'm gonna own the future. I'm assuming you'll be dead by then, of course. But let's not dwell on the negative. So look, you come to the sub shop tomorrow night. You and I will go into the shelter together. Seal it up and wait for the big kaboom. Just, uh, you might want to prepare yourself a little. Mentally and such, I look a little different now. But love is only skin deep, right? Aw, you can feel a little sorry for him. He turned himself into a ghoul. But that's an interesting one, the, like the radiation, right amounts, etc. I was thinking about that because everybody at Sanctuary Hills turned into a ghoul, if you think about it. You had the, um, 
the vault tech rep turned into a ghoul. You find all your neighbors who turned into ghouls. It, it, it was just like at exactly the right distance from the radiation or whatever that everyone there turned into a ghoul. So it is kind of a an amount or kind or whatever thing in this universe because you can you seem to be able to get fairly consistent ghoulification. Now then, let's just keep following Nick about. Convenient that it's right here where he wants to go. This is it. In this spot 200 years ago, one of Eddie's boys gunned down Jenny Lands, my fiance. Uh, Nick's fiance. Now Eddie's as dead as Jenny and Nick. And I, I'm at a loss. All I know is that without you, Eddie'd still be at large. I'm glad I could help. It seems like it meant a lot to you. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Winter was it. The only reminder left of the original Nick Valentine. The last bit of his business settled. I'm not sure how I feel. Uh, you're free. What did you expect? Let's see. This was selfish. No, you're free. Don't you see, Nick? You're finally free. There is no other Nick anymore. Just you. No, I wish it was that easy. But it's not. Because I was Nick Valentine. I had his memories, his, his fears, all that poor bastard's hope. I remember getting the call to head to some lab in Cambridge to get that neurotrans whatever. And the next thing I know, I'm in a trash heap. My family, my home, my entire life, gone. Then I discover all those things that they weren't even mine. Everything I ever was belonged to Nick. I'd hoped with winter gone, the last hint of that old world snuffed out, I could, I could finally be free. But being out here with you, what I... What I finally realized after all this time was that taking down Winter, it wasn't about Nick or Jenny or even you or me. It was about justice, about doing what's right. And that act of goodness, that's ours. All the good we've done, that's ours and ours alone. And even if that's the only thing in this world that I can ever claim as mine, not Nick's, not the Institute's, but mine, then I can die happy. And none of it would have ever happened if it weren't for you. I'm not sure I'll ever be able to thank you for that. You don't have to, Nick. We're friends. This is what friends do. <laughs> you can't stop being noble now, can you? Well, come on then. We're not helping anyone standing around here. Nass Park, close to metal, gives me uh, extra chances. Still interested in traveling together. Extra chances with the computer. I blame you if you wanted some time on your own after all this. Yeah, you can still come. Of course, let's do it. I'm glad to hear it. Come on, let's get out of here. We're still traveling together for a bit, Nick. Just uh, gotta go change companions soon. Uh, I think we might. Well. Let's go do the castle. Let's look at the castle really quick. Shouldn't be too bad. Might add a little bit of time to the video, but we'll look at... We'll make something out of the Commonwealth yet. We'll look at the castle, since we are right here, quite literally. And then I think we're going to do the... Go back and, like, do the Far Harbor quest with Dima. Or with Dima. <laughs> go do the Far Harbor quest, like, next episode. Uh... I'll make sure that I bring, like, a signal grenade and stuff so that I can do the... There we go. So that I can bring my stuff back better. Because I did leave a bunch of stuff in Far Harbor that I didn't make. Stop with the grenade! It's not the grenade. Stop with the mines. Everything is mines. I hate it. I need to clear out this school, too. But this is not a door. How do I get out of here? Look, I need to bring back a bunch of stuff from Far Harbor that I left also. But, you know, there's one last thing. I want to bring Nick on it. I need to do a special thing with it. And I think I'm going to do that next episode if we finish the castle today. Because we can finish this. I'll head back to Hangman's Alley. I'll clear out a bunch of stuff and be ready for that next episode. So that we can, you know, finish up the last of the Far Harbor stuff. <laughs> Stupid Mylerk. Hate you. <clears throat> All right. We speak to Shaw. 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 Hello, Shaw. 
Shaw. Ah, there you are. Finally. I've been waiting to talk to you. Sup? Here I am. What did you need? I'm Ronnie Shaw, Commonwealth Minutemen. At least I was. Back before Joe Becker got himself killed and the idiots took over. Glad to meet you. We could use some more veterans around here. Ah, well, you're right about that. I feel like some of these you've got still may need their diapers changed. I'd still like to hear what you came to talk to me about. Heard you were trying to get the Minutemen back on their feet. Thought I'd come see the new general for myself. So what's your story? What makes you think anybody even wants the Minutemen back? Because that keep... Preston keeps telling me to help stuff. At least we're trying to help people. Can you say the same? Don't give me any attitude, Missy. I've been a Minuteman longer than you've been alive. Doubtful. But I've heard some good things about what you've been doing. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Now that I'm here, I can see you really need my help. We can always use more experienced soldiers. Yeah, you're not kidding. But I had something more specific in mind. I'm probably the only one who still remembers this. But the castle's armory was located in the West Bastion. All of our best equipment was stored in there. Weapons, ammo, schematics, you name it. Come on, And that I'll show was the you. day the Commonwealth knew the Minutemen were back. Okay, Nick. Ah, good. Looks like it might still be intact. Door still sealed. Bastion hasn't collapsed. Trick now is finding a way in. I hope you have an idea. Of course I do. If you can't go through, go around. Let's have a look at the Northeast Bastion. Okay. This is a just follow the leader kind of quest. Well... This was the general's quarters. Used to be a tunnel leading from here to the armory. Hmm. This tunnel's blocked by this rubble. We'll have to find some way to clear it. And... Boom. Magic. Let's get down there and see if there's still a way I through. I cleared it with my magic. To the tunnels. Now then, be careful because there's freaking frag mines and stuff everywhere because everything is mines. Everything is just made of mines now. Ugh. This is also a place we can get cannonballs, which is... I'm going to see, do my best to leave. It's a unique ammunition type for a gun we haven't got yet and never will use when we do, but it's good to know you can get more cannonballs down here. You trying to get someone killed? Yeah, that turret, dude. Nick, what are you, what are you on about? There's another frag mine. Frickin' things. Now then, I can see a thing through there. Every everyone is in my way. Leave, please, everybody. Oh come on, fine. Yeah, you step on that mine, cause I hate you. There's a fusion core. We may as well have that. Another mine. May as well have that. Another mine. May as well have that. Ugh, come on. Where's the baddie? And there we go. No, he attacks you. And I killed him, because I'm not going to deal with that. Sarge is, is dead. And here's a computer inaccessible. Can you do something about that? No, I think she needs to. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Move. Ah, I want see. this to be over now. I used to know this password. One if I land. Nah, that's not it. Two if I see? For the Commonwealth. Three ah, if by pogo stick. It. Oh, it's been a long time. I'm waiting. United we stand. Oh, that's the name of the perk yeah, I got. What do you know? Here he is! Oh, there's the security terminal. Technical document. Here's a dead guy with a lot of ammo, and I get the uh, Minutemen uniform. The this is, well, was, General McGann. 
He had your job back when I first joined up. Must have gotten trapped down here when that sea beast attacked the castle. Ah, uh, he did manage to keep the armory secure. I'll give him that much. Ah, guess the uniform is yours now, if you want it. This old geezer doesn't need it anymore. Rest in peace, General. Your fight is done, and the Minutemen live on. I don't think that the... I can't remember if this was here. There was an old legend about somebody who got walled up in one of these old forts. Come on, we're almost through. And this is a reference to that, which is kind of cool. I remember hearing about this when I lived in Boston. They'd do little tours of the fortified islands, and they'd always tell that story. Now, we are upstairs in the armory, I guess. There's there's more of these wires that connect up everything to everything for lights. Open the door, and look at that. We got laser musket mod. We got all kinds of intact turrets. These turrets you can just grab and move. Like, I can't remember if you can store them or not, but you can just you know, use them for building. Just move them outside. Oh, also baseball grenades. And grenade grenades. And more grenade grenades and water. Nice. And then here, artillery schematics. And artillery supplies. Springs and oil. Nice. And you just... I wanted to open that door. There we go. Whatever. Told you I'd get us in here. Now, let's see what kinds of goodies are left. I just got it. You. Come on. Keep, keep walking. Keep... Just make it work. Excellent. The armory's still intact. There's not much in here for being an armory. We need. Just waiting for us. You found the schematics for building artillery, right? Yep. I have to admit, Ronnie, having artillery would help out quite a bit. Oh, we used to rain down fire on death claws and super mutants alike. It was a glorious thing. All right, let's get going. Don't forget to grab some smoke grenades, too. Smoke grenades. Artillery smoke grenades. And what's in here? Fusion cells. Fusion cells. Fusion cells. I don't know. I might sell those. I don't need all of these laser muskets. Laser muskets are crummy. Why are they using so many of them? They're not very good. I mean, they're okay weapons, but they're slow. They're very, very slow. I guess they're okay sniping weapons. So you want me to make artillery, right? Right? <clears throat> ah, looks like you've got everything we need. As soon as you get some artillery built, we'll do a test fire to calibrate. All right. So, first things first. Get up here where the artillery goes. Because there's, like, there's artillery spots. Which, like, if you don't use the artillery spots, what are you even doing with your life? So, special. Artillery. We can build three of these. I just want it to be... Come on. Yeah, just get it very carefully lined up in the middle of this thing, just for the fun, because... Yeah, like that. No, move it, keep moving it. Yeah, just like that. We don't have enough stuff here. Alright, I built an artillery. Now I need to assign someone to an artillery. Or how many of these does how many does it want me to build? Come on, quest. Old guns. Build and assign artillery. All right. So I built artillery. Now we need to assign artillery. All right. Where's? I can't. I can't just randomly assign them to that. You. Go. Come on. Did I do it? Yes, I have assigned. Good. Now I can talk to talk to her. Also, if we find a... Oh, wait. No. What's the closest what's the closest settlement here? Um... Oh, Hangman's Alley. That's not good. <laughs> and Murkwater Construction Site. Maybe the airport. Maybe we should send you to the airport. No, Hangman's Alley's just way closer. There's no settlements in here, really? Ooh, I guess there's Vault 88 in here, but we haven't found that yet. Hey, General. All right, you are assigned to defense. You are unassigned. Can't be a supply line. Why not? What about you? Why can't I assign anyone to supply lines? I don't get it. All right, fine. Recruitment beacon. Then maybe I can assign some people later. Frickin' thing. 
I think we're really starting to make There we go. Ronnie. Excuse me. Ah, oh, gosh darn, it's good to see artillery here again. Now, here's the thing about the big guns. They can't fire at anything too close, but their range is impressive. That's what the smoke grenades are for. Toss one of those at the bad guys. If we have artillery in range, we'll confirm over the radio and target our fire on your smoke. But first, we better do a test fire. Make sure we're hitting what we're aiming at. You see that little building over there? We'll use that for our aiming point. Keep your radio on and tuned to Radio Freedom so we can confirm we're ready. All right, radio. Radio Freedom. That's a little loud. And then inventory smoke grenades. You're tuned to Radio Freedom, voice of the Why America. do I have this? I don't need a short laser musket. All quiet, which is how we like it. Stay safe out there, people. Artillery smoke grenades. All right, throw a smoke grenade right, at that General, little building. If you can hear me, we're ready. Toss one of those smoke grenades into the target area, and we'll start the test fire. Over there. Now, I always want to get up here and see if I can see this firing. All right, I threw out the smoke grenade, right? Okay, we've got your smoke on the target. You might want to stand back. Yeah, you know, just in case. Does this thing actually fire? That'd be cool. Oh, it does. Look, he's turning it. Oh, wow, he's actually aiming it. Not, not in the right direction. Cool. Nice, and that's actually fun. So if we set these up, ooh, there it goes. So these smoke grenades are free. Ooh, pretty. This takes a long time, but these smoke grenades are free, and if you set these up at a lot of your settlements, you can just cover most of the map with artillery. That looked good from here. You've now got artillery support. Use it wisely, General. Now I have to talk to Preston, which means I have to go back to Hangman's Alley. Let's turn the radio off, even though I like this music. There we go. And I still need to send someone out on some supply lines. I don't know why I can't send anyone out on supply lines. Eh, oh well. Oh well. That'll do it for now. Uh, next episode, I'm going to get everything set up at Hangman's Alley, and then we're going to head out and do that bit of Far Harbor since we finished up Nick's quest. We'll finish up the last thing we want to do with Nick, and then we can continue traveling with someone else. Ah. It's been a little long because I wanted to finish this up, but this is a cool little quest, and now we've got artillery, which we can put other places. I want to build artillery at Hangman's Alley just because it would be ridiculous. I don't know where to put it, but it would just be funny to have a giant gun there somewhere. Wouldn't that be funny? I think that'd be funny. Nick, do you think that'd be fun? Oh, no, don't. Okay, he hates it. He hates the idea. Oh, well. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Nick Nick doesn't like it, so I don't know what to do. Well, I hope that you like it. I hope that you enjoyed, and you got to enjoy this episode. It's for you. It's all for you. It's your time. Down here. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> My name is Gep. When I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, you can leave a like. If you really did, you can subscribe for all such things. They're only a couple weeks out from Fallout 76 content. That'll be fun and interesting. Oof, we're close to Halloween, too. Time, it's, it's too close to Halloween. I don't know what I'm even doing for Halloween. Oh, well. If you know what you're doing for Halloween, comment it. Also, comment what you think about the stupid people who are stupid and care about lore too much. I'm sorry if you care about lore a lot. Just don't don't attack people online because of lore. Lore is not important. Lore is not important at this time. Okay, that's, that's enough rambling from me. Thanks for watching. My name's Gapwin, and I will see you next time.